I've been watching a lot of the games and I've noticed that there's this pattern. Balrogs, they're good in the beginning of the game. Like their carry knows when to join the fight and stuff, but after like 40 minutes, after like 30 minutes, they don't know how to end the game. And then it's it's so obvious that if you just watch the game, they're just getting outmaneuvered on the map. So. Their decision making is just not good enough to win games. It's a very common trend. Like the less experienced teams, they always go through this. They can win the early game, but they don't know how to like close out the game. Because it's not that straightforward. It's not that easy, just go high ground and seize the high ground, right? Like this game. We're so far ahead, and then Troll decides to hit the high ground, and then we feed, right? Why is this happening? I can even show. I'll just download and show it to you guys. Prime Mover, thanks for subbing, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for two months. Decent three because you're in my streams? Nah, bro. You're decent three because you're good. I didn't do shit. You did all the work. When was the throw? It was like here, right? Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Dude, why does uh where is it? Yeah. It was here, right? This was good because this guy is dead, right? This was good because DP is dead. And now look, look at what's happening. So if you look at Dude, my hockeys are fucked. Spectator. Uh, one of two. Where's pause? Peace. Where's pause? Right. Attack. So here. Look at Dyer's vision, right? They're smoked. We don't see them. This is our vision. They, the Sand King is smoked, so we don't see him, right? We don't see him. Dyer's top tower is under attack. We just don't see the Sand King here. And they see us all. So ideally, what's supposed to happen here is at, we're either supposed to be smoked so they can't see us, so they can't go on us, right? Because they don't want to go on the Aegis target. Because we can save him and shit. We can't really save him, but like we can make it annoying. But they want to go on the back line. They want to kill me and Pugna. And we're all like just together here, right? Instead of walking through the base like this, we should walk all the way ar around and then hit this. And we should position ourselves here on the top left. So then if they want to go on us, they have to go all the way in here and they have to go like here. But instead, what happens is we're hitting the high ground. This guy channels Epi from Fog. He gets a two-man stun. And then it's just easy, right? And then two of us just die instantly. And now the fight is 5v3. And this guy ults with no BKB. Right. They can still like get one kill or another, but... He gets us get Yules twice, and then the fight's over. So it's all about vision, right? They see us, and we don't see them, and we don't know when Sand King is going in. That's why high ground is not that simple, because there's a high ground here, and you don't see them. And they see you, because you're on the low ground. That's why you're not supposed to go high ground like this. Troll doesn't have BKB. We just take this racks and just go back and farm everything. Take this outpost. Farm all of these camps. Then we can just farm all of this. When Troll has BKB, he can just walk in here with BKB. Right, but... And then we do it again. And then Pugna's like, oh, we can just go high ground, guys. No, we can't. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. Because they have a lot of jump. And they can just kite the Troll, right? Troll doesn't want to use his ult and just run in here with his ult active. He's not going to do it. He's not going to press his ult. And they know this, right? But they're just going to use all their shit on Troll. And he's not going to want to use his BKB like this. And when he uses his BKB... And he doesn't ult, and he doesn't kill anybody, he's just done after. Right. So let's just jump to when we want to siege again, when we throw. That's how teams just throw games. I think we don't throw anymore, right? It was here? Was it? It was here, right? What's the same sh- Was it here? Did we throw here? Yeah, so Marana ults, right? They see us, and they- We don't see them. Maybe we're supposed to have a ward and a sentry here, but they're smoked anyways, right? 
So it doesn't really matter that much. We have a sentry here. And we're position we're we're better positioned this time, right? We're sitting way far up. But even though they see Pugna. But they see the Pugna here, it just dies instantly. So the fight's already like a 5v4. Pugna dies. And then they reset. We use blank on Pango. Pango doesn't even have ult. You know. This is just kind of a throw. We're not supposed to do this. Because it's a lot easier for them to just smoke around and go on our back line. And we just can't protect ourselves, right? Because Troll is here. When they go on us here, they're just going to kill us all. And why does this work well for us? It's all about vision, right? They just run in here. They don't see anything. And then what's going to happen is... I have already warded this high ground, right? We see them because this is just obvious. If you look at the map, remember when I said they're gonna come, they're gonna smoke, right? Like, I even drew on the map. They're gonna come here. It's just obvious they're gonna do this because nobody's showing this lane, nobody's showing this lane. So I just drop a pre ward here for the fight. This is obvious it's gonna happen. Now I'm in fog, right? The Sanking walks up, he doesn't see me. And we see them. Why, why do we win this fight? Because we see them and they don't see us. So I just sleep this guy from fog. Tango starts rolling on the fucking nothing. And it's just hard for them to do anything, right? And I grip this guy from Fog. It's enough for my team just to kill him. They commit all their spells on me. This guy uses double jump. PA jumps in. And then it's just over, right? They just use all their spells to kill Bane. I even got my ult off. That's it. And then the game's over. So you're not supposed to go... Unless high ground is just super easy, you know? And they can't really jump you. They can't do anything. Then you can go high ground, but... Hagrid is where teams just throw a lot because they just don't know how to do it. It's not that simple. It's not like, oh, I have all my items, let's go high ground. It's not how that works. Even if you have Aegis, it's not that easy. You need to at least kill one hero or two and then go high ground because they can just defend really easy. Defending is super easy. You just throw a bunch of spells on the guy and you don't... You're not afraid to die, right? Because you're in your base. And it's hard for the enemy to dive you in the base. Unless it's an unexpected dive, right? Unless they ward in the base and then they jump you without you knowing that they have a ward. And if they instantly just blow you up, then then it's a different story. But if you just straight up just hit the high ground, it's not going to work usually.